We begin with renewed COVID concerns. Cases appear to be rising once again. One of the major indicators is the level of the virus in wastewater. Yeah, it's been higher than it has been in months. Action News reporter Toronto Thomas tracking the data live at Temple University Hospital. Uh, Toronto COVID cases also making up more emergency room visits as well. Yes, nationwide, they're up 12% for diagnosed COVID cases, and locally, that number's even higher. Some people don't know anyone who's had COVID lately. No, not at all. But a growing number of people do. My boss had COVID. Perhaps seeing the same rise that the CDC is noting. In the latest data from July 20th to July 27th, COVID viral levels in wastewater increased 11.7% nationwide, reaching their highest level since January. Oh, well, wow, that's unbelievable. You know, I can't believe it, but I had my shots. New Jersey has what's classified as a moderate level with a half percent decrease from July 20th to July 27th. The presence of the virus in Pennsylvania wastewater increased by nearly 35%, reaching a high level. And in Delaware, very high, with levels there rising nearly 39% in a week. Dr. Carlene Muto with Temple Health says wastewater levels are useful tools. We see it in the wastewater and then we see the disease uh, incidents go up. The CDC also reports an increase in emergency room visits related to diagnosed cases of COVID. While while those visits don't make up a huge percentage of emergency room patients, the rate by which the visits increase is worth noting, up 26% in Pennsylvania, up nearly 25% in New Jersey, and up 21.8% in Delaware. But it's still at a very low level, certainly at Mainline Health, and I suspect at other hospitals, not affecting daily uh, operations. Dr. Lawrence Livernese with Mainline Health thinks COVID surges could become as common as flu surges. And each year we, get, we use a different vaccine because you know, there are different strains coming out. And that's really what's happening with COVID as well. I would recommend getting the vaccine every six months. I just bring this for when I'm in a crowded spot. Playing it safe as COVID makes another comeback. I suspect COVID is here to stay uh, for the foreseeable future. Now, doctors say there's no need to panic over this recent rise because while wastewater shows that there's an increase in the levels of the presence of COVID, there's also a new uh, variant that, that they're seeing, a new strain of COVID. But there is a new uh, vaccine that's also coming as well, and that should be here in the fall. Live at Temple University Hospital, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Okay, thanks for the update, Toronto.